Welcome back everybody. Thank you for watching another video. So I am in the market for a new set of dishware to take with me camping up into Sequoia through Yosemite and back up at the Napa Valley and I found this company on Amazon. I believe the pronunciation is Sweven. Let's have a closer look. And as always, guys, if you want to purchase the product mentioned in this video, make sure you click the link in the description below. All right, before getting into the weight and size comparisons, here's what you get. You get four bowls, you get four plates, you get four sets of utensils. So in these boxes is a set of forks, knives, and spoons, and you get four cups. Let's have a look at the weights and size comparisons. All right, let's begin with measuring the size of the box that the utensils are in. So that's a 12-inch ruler there. And uh, you figure, uh, what is that, like eight, eight, a little bit, eight and a quarter? Eh, let's call it eight inches. So eight inches long, uh, width-wise, about two inches, depth-wise, eh, three and a quarter, eh, inch, whatever. Uh, if you wanted a quick size reference, so here's the ruler here. Okay, so 12 inches that way. And then here is a marker for size reference. All right, let's break up the utensils here. Let's get the ruler back out here. And put the knife here. I believe the fork is the shortest. So there it is in order of, like, which one is shortest. So there. And we'll pick them up to get a closer look. But there's a quick size reference. Here's a pen. Okay. So even the... Uh, Fork is closer to the length of a Sharpie, but the knife definitely longer. Let's have a close-up over here. So here's a look at the knife, and I, you know, the, it's about the same stiffness, pliability, as I would say plastic. Here's a look at the thickness there. If you want to put it next to a pen, you can there. Again, think plastic fork, but it's kind of neat. They got a finger choil up here, in case you want to... Get up a little bit more toward the front. There's a quicker look at the teeth there. It's hard to believe this is made out of wheat straw. Okay, so there's a look at the knife. Uh, here's a look at the spoon. Okay, I'm going to put a quarter in here. You can get a feel for what the dip is like in here. How big that is. So there's a quarter. Uh, here's a dime. If you want to see the dime in there. Okay. For cereal. There's a closer look at the fork. Prongs pretty stiff. All right. Measurements here. So the fork coming in just short of six inches. Spoon feels like it's a little bit longer. Yeah, about six, six and a quarter, almost six and a half. And the knife, definitely longer. Uh, a little past seven, about seven and a quarter. Okay. That is your utensils. All right, let me bring in the plates. All right, so that's about 8.9 inches going this way. I will call that nine inches. Why not just call it nine? All right. Here is what a standard piece of bread looks like in there, if you're wondering what that looks like in the depth. Okay, there's your size comparisons there. My hand right here. Normally my hand can get over like an 8.5 inch golf bag opening, so it's just around 9 inches. And again, you get 4 of those plates. Here's a look at the 4 bowls here. So this is right around 24 ounces. Uh, depth wise, let me see if I can get this on here. Okay, I'm going to put that right in here so you can see. Was it about three inches? Three inches deep. Right in here, it's so 24 ounces. Nice thing about how they make these is that they're all uniform. The finish is uniform. It's all the same. So 24 ounces, about three inches deep this way. And I guess if you wanted to see what a piece of bread looks like in here. Okay, that's what that looks like. All right, here's what one of the tumblers looks like. I'm telling you guys right now, I can't believe that this is made out of wheat straw. 
if you melt this down enough, even though this is microwavable safe, right? If you really melt it down, it's biodegradable. Uh, 12 ounces. Here is a standard water bottle to give you a size reference next to each other. All right, if you want to put a pen in that, just to see how deep that is. I don't know if that helps out any. Okay. Get you the ruler. Just about four and a half inches deep. There's the four there. Uh, maybe four and a quarter. Yeah, maybe four and a quarter inches deep. On top, eh, maybe about three inches. On the bottom, maybe about two inches. All right, before weighing each of the components, I just want to give you some weight references to compare them to. So here are two AA batteries. So two of those is 1.7 ounces and a deck of cards, fully loaded, coming in at 3.4 ounces. Let's have a look how these components weigh on our scale. All right, let's get each of these components on the scale here. So the cutlery with the box come in at 2.1 ounces. Plate here, plate coming in at four ounces. It's not bad there. Bowl, two point seven ounces. Wow, that's almost the same weight as the cutlery, and the cup, one point five ounces. All right, why would you want to buy this dish set from Swebin? Number one, I think for twenty nine ninety nine, the pros far outweigh the cons here you get a lot for your money all right you get four complete sets you get the cups four sets of cutlery dish the bowl it's all there and it checks most of the boxes for me number one the price is right number two what you're paying for is really good durability and it's pretty lightweight which is going to be helpful for just about anybody whether you're hiking or driving in an rv or camper van or car camping whatever let's say you're driving and your cabinets fly open and this hits the deck. They're unbreakable. So the durability is extremely high and they're very lightweight for people that are hiking. Another benefit for people that are in RVs or camper vans that have a pass through, these really don't clank around much. So the noise is a lot less than what you're gonna get from plates made out of tempered glass. Now, another huge benefit is, outside of it being biodegradable and all the good stuff for the environment, is this is not only dishwasher safe, but microwavable as well. And with all of the new improvements to solar technology, there are so many new RVs and campers that have microwaves in them now that you want a basically a set of dishes that can do everything. And you can put these in the microwave. They say no longer than three minutes, uh, but it is heat proofed up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, just a quick word on these plates. I love the way that there is a ledge on here, right? There's a cup to this plate. When you're looking for your camp set, try to pay attention to the pictures because a lot of them online, you can't really tell, you know, what the depth of it is. And you don't want to get a plate that's too flat because you're going to have things rolling off the edges of your plate. So I like the fact that there's a pretty large cutting surface here in the middle. Uh, and you have, you know, just a bowl here that's raised on the edge of this plate to catch things. So I like that. Um, and the other thing about the utensils here, this is a detractor. Now, Here's a look at the knife that's on here. Not sure that's going to cut into a steak. Uh, but you can't really use steel knives on this because you're going to end up scratching the plating. And I'm not too worried about it looking scratched. But what I am worried about is it's scratching so deeply that it might damage the underneath portion. Because it is biodegradable. I don't know how or what would happen if you cut through whatever is making this waterproof. So that is a detractor. You'd have to get your cutting done on a cutting board, transfer it over onto one of these, and then kind of use these for the softer stabbing and softer items to cut with that there. So that's kind of a detractor there. Let me mention one last thing, and it has to do with the coloring of the dish set that I bought. So online, the coloring says that it's white. Now, to me, this looks a little bit beige, but there is a legitimate white beige gray and i think like a green i think they got four colors and i did just to show you guys which one i bought here get that out of the way so this is the white so i don't know if there was a mix up in the color not too sure but that's if this is what the white looks like be prepared for it not to be 
a white color. Again, I don't believe this is the beige because I think that's coming through as white, but when you compare it to what it looks like online, it looks like that. Uh, this is more of an off-white than anything, pretty much close to a beige. The beige might be a darker color than what the white is. And as for these utensil boxes, I'm not too sure I would bring them, but if I did, I'd probably stuff them with uh, some cloth or something to stop them from bouncing around like that. Um, I would probably not even bring these boxes. I'd probably just take them out and then put them all in like a tray or something like that so that they wouldn't make any noise. Well, all right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed that quick look at the Sweven dishware set. If you're thinking about buying it, I hope this aids in your buying decision. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.